Uh, I think that there definitely is a place for artwork that is, you know, like restful and, you know, gentle. And, um, and when I think about the presentation, like I think about you know, all the spiritual stuff happening. I think about like this tornado of just chaos happening in a spiritual way that like nobody saw, nobody could tell. And it's just, you know, I see like the darkness like kicking and screaming and spitting and, you know, biting and scratching and, you know, it's like, this is the hope of the world. And like, here he is and this innocent little baby. And, and, um, and now humanity has, has hope. Humanity can, you know, can, can live. We can have freedom. Um, we can experience God in a different way now. <laughs> and, and so when I think about all these, the dark imagery here, I feel like this is, you know, I'm trying to illustrate this the frustration and helplessness of death surrounding and kind of like trying to encroach upon this the, the light um, but it can't touch it and um, it's helpless to fight against it you know and, um, it's just a beautiful sentiment you know it's like this little teeny precious child nobody knows you know well, Simeon knows but like nobody knows, nobody has a clue. So I use a lot of symbols with, with in my work, and um, you know sometimes I use animals and stuff like that. And so I feel like, um, you know, for here, I mean, the skull is such as I mean, not meaning to be macabre, but just as a symbol of death. And here, there's this skull that has been flipped upside down. You know, and um, death, death is no longer, death is, is, you know, is upside down. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's this kind of this weird dance between the darkness and the light. And, um, <laughs> gosh, it's so weird to kind of think about how to articulate this because I don't, I don't want to be blasphemous or heretical in how I articulate, you know, how I, how I live my faith. Um, I think you can't have one without the other. You have to have, you have to see the dark. You have to see the dark for what it is, to see the light for what it is. And there has to be dark. There has to be dark in every piece. Because if you, if there's not, then you, you won't, you'll miss it. You'll miss, you'll miss the light. You'll miss the hope. There has to be a juxtaposition. There has to be a, a tension. There has to be a conflict because, um, because that's life. That's the way life is.